Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Decompose With Me, which is a horror game where a girl wants you to decompose with her. Your head is pounding. Everything feels fuzzy. Distant sounds thrumming in the background like your ears are stuffed with cotton. You... are you awake? I don't know. Am I? The cacophonous noise comes into focus, and slowly you open your eyes. How do you feel? Neutral. Where am I? You are in the forest. Even our protag has a voice, huh? On the ground, to be precise. Okay, I'm on the ground. How did I get here? I don't know. I found you like this. Did you now? You rack your brain for answers, but you can't seem to remember anything. The more you think, the more it hurts. Shh, it is okay. You do not have to think so hard. I don't like people who tell me that. Are you here to help me? Are you here to hurt me? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Uh, are you here to hurt me? Let's go this one. No, of course not. You sure about that? I am here to help. Who are you? I am Rosie. Hi, Rosie. You examine her closely. She's cute, but something about her feels... off. What the hell are you? What do you mean? Yeah, what the hell are you? You're obviously not human. It is hard to define myself. I believe I am what is called a mushroom, but I am also more. You don't quite look like a mushroom. You did not answer before. How do you feel? Neutral. I feel... numb. Yeah, see? It's like you're floating. There's barely, in sen there's barely any sensation in your limbs. It takes a lot of effort to move your head, but you manage to lift it up, lift it enough to look at your body. Huh? Uh... From the knees down, Rosie's body morphs into a strange, stringy white tendrils. And those tendrils are inside your legs. I am helping. Helping me die? How is this helping? I am helping you to decompose. Okay. Stop it! I'm not dead! No. No! At least, I don't think. This is the beginning of the Last of Us virus. You realize, suddenly, that you can't feel your heartbeat. You can't feel yourself breathing. Why are you decomposing me? You are dead. I see. I am able to communicate with you through our connection. Can you feel it? You are becoming me, and I am becoming you. Can I do- get a- can I get a do-over? I don't want to die. Everything that lives must die. That is the way of nature. Is it not nice to decompose? To become one with the soil? Sustenance for the trees? No. That's my soil. I am absorbing the nutrients of your flesh and blood. Through your death, more life will grow. What's going to happen to me? You become dirt. First, your muscles will stiffen. Your body will bloat. Then, your tissues will break down. Muscles and internal organs decaying one by one. Before long, most of your flesh will be gone. Skin will peel and crack and stick to bone. And eventually, it too will be gone. Your bones will remain the longest. For many years, they will lie here on the forest floor where the rest of you has long since faded. I will grow inside your skeleton. I will fill you and love you. Ah. I will become you, and you will have long become me. I can't die yet! I, th I think we're pretty dead. There's, uh, there's fungus growing out of us. I think we're pretty dead. There are so many things I wanted to do. I can't just leave it all behind. There is nothing to protest. What is done is done. 
You are already dead, and that cannot change. No! I won't! I can't! You flail your limbs with all your fading strength, doing everything you can to push her away. I don't want to die! Stop it! Stop decomposing me! Your attacks do nothing to her. She looks down at you with a pitying frown. I am sorry you cannot accept this. If it is your desire, I will leave you. You're very polite, Mushroom. After all, I am you now. How can I not know you wish to be alone? She pulls the tendrils from your body. You clench your fists, weak as they are. You will not die here. You refuse. But as she pulls the last strand from your leg... Oh no, my consciousness, I'm dead! Your consciousness dims, and you know that there was never anything you could do to the fight. Damn. Well, that's one ending. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Huh? I did not fall from anywhere. I have always been in this forest. Just growing. No, I mean, cause... You're like an angel. Get it? Oh, I am not an angel, but I am here to help. Who are you? I am Rosie. Okay, I can see the skip option appears. I'm gonna skip. What the hell are you? What do you mean? You're obvious. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Though, I feel I already know you so well. Yeah, you're kind of uh, in my legs. Huh? What do you mean? Does it not feel like we have a special connection? Through the legs. Now that she mentions it, you do feel like you know her already. Have you met her before? Sorry, what are you? Are you sure you're not an angel? <laughs> I assure you, I am not. It is hard to define myself. I believe I am what is called a mushroom, but I am also more. Man, we had... We've had dating sims with brain parasites, now we got one with some mushrooms. You did not answer before. How do you feel? I feel... numb. I gotta see the skip option appear. Let's try attacking her here. Scared and confused, you lash out. <laughs> it takes a lot to move your arms, but you manage to grab a rock and swing it at Rosie. It hits soft, sponge-like tissue, sinking in without doing damage. She frowns, pushing her arms back down. There is no use in harming me. You are dead. Damn. I am able to communicate with you through our connection. Can you feel it? Skip ahead. I will grow inside your skeleton. I will fill you and love you. I will become you and you will have long become me. I guess that's it. It's nice to become one with nature. If my death was inevitable anyway. And this one she just auto like Defaulted like accepting it. At least I have a cute girl to accompany me. It, it's actually a mushroom. <laughs> I'm flattered. Well, as flattered as you would be. I am understanding your emotions more and more. I'm sure you are. If you understand how I feel, can you grant me one last dying wish? I can. She leans as close and you close your eyes. Your lips connect. Hers are soft and spongy, distinctly inhuman. You feel Rosie's poisonous spores per pour into you. Hey, I mean, whatever works. It is quick and merciful. As you hoped, your consciousness fades quickly, and your last memory is a pleasant one. Are you here to help me? Yes, I am helping. Who are you? Skip and head. What the hell are you? What do you mean? Decomposing me? I am able to communicate with you through our connection. Can you- If my death was inevitable- It's nice to become one with nature. If my death was inevitable anyway, at least I'm not alone. That is somewhat true. I think I get it. You are me and I am you all that. I think this might be like the middle- the little ground ending. I don't know if I'm hallucinating you in my dying moments. Or if there's some weird magical fungus thing going on. 
But I'm glad you're here. I've always liked mushrooms, you know. You sure that's you talking, or is that the mushroom infecting your, like, dying brain talking? I know. You lie there, letting yourself sink into the forest soil. You don't know if it's your own delusion fading mind or the beginning of a new state of awareness, but you can feel the life... It's a little hard to read the text here because it's like, it's white on white. Feel the life frumming around you. You feel the network of mycelium. You're now connected to the intricate web of nature. You feel yourself intertwined with Rosie, and as your consciousness fades, you are at peace. So, I guess that's it for Decompose of Me. Uh, I have played another VN, also from a game jam like this one. Uh, that one was, a, you basically had a commercial and there was like a, a cult advertising on it. Cultivating Happiness was what it was called. So, I like off the wall conceptual like uh, stories like this. Like, I brought the other one with the, uh, the Brain Parasite one. Because it, it is one thing to, like, oh, thing, but now anime. It's another thing to make thing, but now anime real. As in, like, not something became anime, literally. But, like, it is essentially still the original thing. You're just seeing it as anime. And it, it's kind of, like, it's got that little, like, semi... Not really quite body horror, but it's got, like, a little bit of a concept to it. So, short, part of a game jam. But I wouldn't actually drag out this specific concept that much longer. Because the goal wasn't really like suffering, per se. It, it, the goal was kind of like a, a bit of a twist and then like acceptance. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Decompose of Me. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.